Now, you know me, I am a great supporter of public transport, especially these days when environmental concerns are top of the agenda. I don't even have a driving licence, and for my travelogues I take the train whenever I can. So it's quite discouraging to see the biggest German rail operator Deutsche Bahn in such trouble these days. It has a huge image problem, and it's very difficult to find a German who doesn't want to complain about the trains. And while I do feel that for the most part this image problem is undeserved, it is undeniable that problems exist and that they have been getting worse in recent years. Many people are under the impression that Deutsche Bahn is a nationalised company, but this isn't really true. It is actually privatised, but the government is the only shareholder. And the one thing that this single shareholder is very clear on is that this company has to make a profit. Meanwhile, passenger numbers are constantly rising, and this is despite the fact that the trains are now competing with budget airlines. Which means that more people are travelling, and they're travelling more frequently, which isn't helpful either to efforts to go green, or to solving Deutsche Bahn's problems. As of this year, however, the government has reduced the amount of value-added tax payable on long-distance train tickets, specifically to entice passengers away from the budget airlines. Which I guess is a good thing, but there are a couple of issues. Deutsche Bahn has already admitted that it has rather neglected its domestic network of late, which is in urgent need of upgrades. It has promised to concentrate less on its international operations and to concentrate more on Germany, which is good news. Additionally, the government has made an extra 20 billion euros available over the next 10 years, meaning that the company now has 156 billion euros to invest between now and 2030. Which is excellent news, but there's a catch. The goal is that by then the rail network's capacity should have doubled, but that is not going to happen without a lot of major construction work involving the rebuilding almost from scratch of some of the busiest sections. And what is all this extra construction work going to mean for passengers? Cancellations and delays, that's what. Before things can get better, they're going to get a whole lot worse. Frustratingly, there are a couple of small things that could be done that might help the situation a little bit, but probably won't happen. For example, the reinstatement of night trains. Night trains are a great way to compete with the airlines. Instead of getting up at 3am in the morning in order to catch a plane in time for your business meeting, why not book yourself into a mobile hotel? Go to bed in Hamburg and wake up in Budapest. There are night trains running in Germany, but they're not operated by Deutsche Bahn. DB night trains were phased out in 2016 because they ran at a loss. Which is odd, because the big Austrian rail operator manages to run its night trains with a small profit. Deutsche Bahn would like to run night trains again. The German government would like Deutsche Bahn to run night trains again, but the German government has also said that it's not prepared to actually help out with the costs. And as far as I know, Deutsche Bahn hasn't indicated that they're prepared to go ahead without government help. You'd think the government would put its money where its mouth is when it comes to going green. On the other hand, you might hope that the operator would use some of its 20 billion euro windfall to put a few bunk beds on some trains. Ah well, rocky times ahead. For my part, I'm going to continue using the trains. I like to think that it's because I'm environmentally conscious, but the truth is that at my age, learning to drive just seems like an awful lot of hard work. At the top of the agenda. Ew. That makes life a bit difficult for some reason that I can't remember. Involving the building almost trains again, but the girl. For my part, I am going to something. Mm -hmm.